Welcome to this quick and easy guide to installing any MCP server. If you've been having problems with installing MCPs, trust me, this video should help you out. Now, first of all, let's just talk about MCPs. There are, let's say, three parts to every MCP server. There's the user, right? And, or maybe it'd be better to say agent, right? That's going to use the MCP. So that could be client, cursor, whatever, right? Then there is the code, right? So for example, a Python script. <clears throat> and then finally, there are the JSON settings, uh, which the agent needs, right? So any MCP server needs to have these three things in order to be successful. Obviously, this doesn't, it's not really needed because you could just use Claude desktop, but I just thought it'd be easier to explain this like this. So these two are very much connected, uh, the JSON settings and the agent themselves, and then the code, right, is what the MCP server actually is. So what does this look like? If we just go to the model context protocol here, right, this is the GitHub with all of the model context protocols in it that you could find, right? Let's just go on one, for example, MCP server browser base. So we can see that this is split, right? Like I said, into a few different things. These are the JSON settings, which your agent or your, or Claude desktop, for example, needs in order to run. And then at the top, or in this case, just on the left here, you'll see that it has all of these things here, right? These are the actual, um, this is the actual code that is needed in order to run. I think most of the time it's written in TS, which is TypeScript. If I just open this up, all it does normally, right? All an MCP does is it starts a server and then it has commands which can automatically talk to that server, right? So if we just go on the Google Maps MCP, which is one that I've been using a lot recently, like I'm pretty sure all this code does is it starts um, a an instance, right, of a running server that you could just query with normal code as well. You don't have to use MCPs. All this does is starts an interface which you can then talk to, or in this case, your agent can talk to, right? It's that easy. It's not actually complicated what's going on here. So all you need is a server, an agent to talk to that server, and the commands to either start or then talk to that server, right? An MCP can be can just be broken up into these three things, right? Server, agent, and the commands used to talk to that server. That's literally it. There's nothing else here, okay? But what I found, right, is installing MCP servers can be quite difficult. So if you're struggling with any of this, by the way, I do highly recommend going over to um, my school. It'll be the first link in the description of this video. It's very, very popular. We have some very intelligent people in here as well who, you know, they're talking a lot. It's not just like a dying um, community. Everybody's talking, everybody's committed. It's Sunday today, it's a beautiful day here in Ireland, but people are online, learning, etc., etc. So yeah, it'll be the first thing in the description. If I just go on here, classroom, you can see that everything I'm talking about today has already been fully explained in detail here and here, right? Um, but in this case, I'm just explaining it in another way for you guys. Also, just shout out to everyone that's joined so far. It's an amazing community. We have a coffee chat in three days every Wednesday and probably or potentially we're going to increase that to a few more every week where we chat about AI, etc. So with that being said, let's get into this. So I'm going to be using Klein to install, but I'm also going to show you a trick to copy your MCP service from Klein to Roo, okay? Because Roo, in my opinion, does not have very good installation for MCPs, whereas Klein does. Once we're on Klein, I'm gonna click up here, right? We're just gonna have a quick look here because there are some interesting new ones and I wanted to check if there was an Expo. There is not an Expo one, unfortunately. There might be here though, so let's just see if there's one here. There's no Expo, is it called Expo? Yeah, so I mean, I reckon this would be a really good MCP to have, but uh, currently um, it doesn't seem like there is an MCP for the server. Let's just check actually. Um, no, 
anyway, <clears throat> let's just get into installing one. So we'll just pick one uh, that we think looks cool. So there are sometimes extra stages to this. So I will just quickly mention that. If I go on Blender, for example, right, just clicking install here is not going to be enough, okay? So I recommend clicking on here before clicking install and just checking if there are any other steps to this, okay? You can see here, if I scroll down a bit, you'll see you actually need to install a Blender add-on, right? This is not needed for most MCPs. However, it's worth checking, okay? Because if you're getting stuck and you don't know why, it might be because you need to install something separately, okay? So just be aware of that. In this case, it cannot talk specific, it can't talk to Blender until you start the MCP server on Blender, okay? One more thing I'd like to mention, right, is there's no point having contradicting MCP servers, right? So if I just go on install, something like Perplexity, I have it turned off because if Brave and Fetch don't work, right, which in my opinion works better than Perplexity, what it sometimes does, does is it just uses Perplexity, right? So having conflicting ones doesn't make sense. Another thing worth mentioning is this here doesn't matter too much, right? This is probably just because I don't have Blender or Unity turned on right now. So it's giving me this error, okay? You should only care about errors, right? If they're actually affecting the MCP, okay? And now with all of that being said, let's get into an installation, right? Okay, so I just removed the Fetch MCP because Fetch is a great example of a very, very easy one to install, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press install here, then I'm instantly gonna press cancel, okay? First of all, I'm going to change to Anthropic, right? I think using Anthropic makes sense because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's model context protocol is from Anthropic, right? You can switch to plan if you want. I wouldn't bother, right? So I'm on act here. I'm just going to say I'm on Windows. Git bash. Please also be aware that, by the way, it's, I, I just know that because it says here, right? Bash. Right, so I'm Windows 11, git bash. Please also be aware that you need to code a way for the MCP to start uh, when I try and use it so that it's always online and I don't have to worry about it, right? So this should work pretty quickly and pretty easily. I do find that having the thinking mode of Anthropic is preferable. So we should see this process here. Let's see. So it's reading, right? So I now have a list of files in the desktop, not very useful, but fair enough. So it's now created fetch MCP, right? So slash documents slash client slash MCP slash fetch MCP. Um, this looks like it already existed. See here. I'm just going to say just use a new folder with a slight name change. I think it's because there was already a fetch MCP folder from last time I installed this um, MCP. So now it will install it to fetch MCP server, right? So now it's installing the dependencies. Remember that a lot of these use n P, M, or, well, and TS, right? So you need to actually run npm install. I don't know what happened there. Seems like the build just failed, which is kind of weird. So now it's creating um, start fetch mcp.bat. The reason I like to do this, like I said, is because oftentimes one of the issues with MCP servers is that the server's not running when it tries to use it, right? So now it's updating everything here in the client mcp settings.json, right? And then that should actually now work. Let's see, because the npm install or npm build did fail. So I'm not sure if this will work. Yeah, it didn't work. So let's just try this again. Let me just uh, cancel this for one second. And I think this is the problem. This happens quite a lot, by the way, um, with Klein is that it doesn't realize that it made an error, right? So what it does is it makes an error here. Oops. 
makes an error here and then it just says okay now that's done let's continue and it's like well it, it, it didn't work so so look it said again look, look at this um we're having issues now let's try building again and then it said that it, it worked but it didn't actually work right so we can copy all this and send it again you need to be careful of this okay this happens quite a lot with client. I, I thought they'd kind of fix this, but it, it still does happen, unfortunately. So it looks like there's a problem with the TS config or something. Not really sure. I don't really fully understand these things. Um, but yeah. Okay, it seems to be installing this time. Let's see if it fails. But we'll just cancel here because it's being annoying. Okay, so SHX is not recommend, not recognized as a command. Okay, so it just looks like we were missing SHX, whatever that even is. I literally don't even know what that is. So now it's simplifying the packages.json to use, to, to work with um, Windows, right? Because I'm on Windows and MCPs are never set up for Windows. I'll tell you that for free. If you're on Windows, just don't be on Windows. Okay, that looked like it actually worked for once. Let's see if the source exists. Okay, so it looks like it's working. And then it should run it. Make sure, remember to tell it you're on Windows. Okay, it's so important. I don't know what it is with Windows, but these things never work properly with Windows. Okay, moment of truth. Is this going to work? It does. Okay, so that is the fetch MCP set up, right? So now, every single time that you go to use it, um, it can just work immediately. I, I really recommend pressing auto approve now right here and okay so sometimes it doesn't save right and here and then press approve and then that'll run again right so now let me just show you two little tricks here okay so this should now be done right the last thing you should do is say please add so let's just open up the settings right so we'll go to mcps install um config Figure MCP servers, and I'm just going to say add, uh, what is it? What, what's the word? Auto approve, is it? Yeah, auto approve. The thing is, right, I think um, RuCode uses slightly, they don't use auto approve, they use something else. I don't know why they would change that personally. It's kind of stupid. The last thing you want to do is please add all fetch commands to auto approve, right? So that should just do that there. There we go, right? I don't want it to do anything else. Don't do anything else, just leave it there. Just say, okay, done. We'll just press cancel here. That's now done, right? So now we just click on Rue code, click here, right? Scroll down to edit global. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, you need to open a project folder. I really don't understand why, but we'll just open this one, whatever, it doesn't matter. Go to Rue code, click here. Press edit global, right? You can see if I scroll up, this isn't the same as um, my fetch one, right? So I can do, you can see this says auto approve, right? And this says always allow, always allow there. So what I can do is I can control A, control V, and then control S to save, right? And then that puts all of my Klein um, things here, right? I think I have to change this to always allow though. I'm not sure if this works specifically or if you have to do something slightly different, but I'm just gonna try this. So we've got 10 auto approves. We'll change it all to, what is it, auto allow or always allow? Always allow like that. And we'll press this button here and then save and then press done. And then we'll open up the MCP service here. You can see these are all connected. And then on Roo, right, on Boomerang, let's just give it a, um, a task to do. Um, so we'll close this. Let's put, change the settings. We'll put it on uh, Gemini. Our oh boy, Gemini, my favorite model right now, I must say. We'll put this on it like that, and we'll just see if this can automatically use the fetch MCP, right? Uh, actually, is there another fetch here? There might be. No. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, so this is using Boomerang. I love this shit, honestly. So now it's just changed the task. You might have seen that. Okay, it doesn't work. So I don't actually know what the command is. So wait, Google. Oh, okay, maybe these just weren't, uh, they weren't uh, in the client ones. So if I just keep pressing always allow here, right? You run through this once, it's done. The only other thing you can do, control A, control C, right? Take this over to Claude desktop. I'll just use Claude desktop because it's here. And then paste this here. And what I can do is I can go here and let's zoom out. You won't be able to see this guys, but just bear with me. If I open up all these, these are all the MCP servers, right? So I'm just opening them up, opening them up, opening them up, right? And then you should just be able to do that, right? Control C, I'll zoom back in so you can kind of see what I just did. And then paste this here and say, please add all commands from the second case to their respective always allow options in the first case. I put paste instead of paste, but okay. So this should do exactly that. So look, you can see it's putting always allow, always allow, run browser agent, fine. Don't want to show you that key, oh, whatever, I'll just delete it. Um, there we go, always allow, always allow, perfect. I just want to see Google, because then I'll know for sure that, that it's actually doing what I want it to do. It looks like it is working though. Yeah, so look, it's added these here, right? If I go back on here, you can see if you uh, maps, you can see it's only got two, right? Once this is finished, I can copy this, put it back in, and then all of my commands will be automated. And you, you literally have a robot that will work for you while you sleep, while you eat, while you, whatever else you people do. <laughs> okay, copy this, control A. Control V to paste. You can see it went up by 40 lines. I'm pretty sure that worked. Let's just uh, press approve here, right on this one manually. And then next time it uses the any MCP, it should just be automated, right? So things that I am working on at the moment is Blender, right? So look, you can see it's auto approved. I'm currently looking at Blender MCP, right? Blender, plus you've probably guessed already, Unity to make 3D games, 3D games, right? Another one is Expo plus React. I'm sorry, I can't write like this. React Native to make uh, mobile apps, right? These are two things that I'm looking at at the moment, okay? Um, let me know if you want to know more about this stuff, etc., etc. Thank you for watching, guys. This has been a complete guide to installing any MCP and kind of automating the process instead of being stuck on uh, boring mode where you have to click approve constantly. You can't get MCPs to work, whatever it is. But remember guys, I did struggle with this and I had to fight and I had to tell it specific things, etc., etc. So just remember that not everything is hunky dory, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, some things are difficult. You have to sit, you have to really make sure that it sets up the agent part, the server part, and the JSON slash command part. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school. It's not just your bog standard school. I'm putting my heart and soul into it. And as usual, if you're watching all the way to the end, you're a legend and peace out.